Most projects entail considering options and alternatives for given design problems. Take for example that in the conceptual design phase we are considering multiple building envelope alternatives for the auditorium space attached to this quad building 3. We may start with a blank slate but still know that what we are about to design is only one option within a set. That being so, we can proceed in the following way. First, we will want to enable options by clicking the Option tool. The dialog allows us to define option sets and their contained options. We will define one option set as Auditorium. Click on the option and click Edit. This takes us to Option 1, which currently is empty. Everything else in the model is grayed out since it is not considered part of the option, but rather the main model. As we model option 1, we certainly want to still see the main model for context and to understand how our option interrelates with it. As we model within this option 1, the elements are assigned to the option and are only editable from within the option edit mode. If we switch back to the main model, these elements will not be editable. Now we'll quickly copy in some model elements which we already had prepared that compose the preliminary design option. And when I toggle back to the main model, that option is no longer editable. Another scenario is that in which we had modeled a design in the main model and then later decide to add it to an option set. This may happen if we didn't anticipate that we were going to consider options until later in the modeling process. And that's okay. We go ahead and define the option set in the same way. Next we select all the components that belong to the option set and click Add to Sets. Designating the set and options in the dialog. We'll select to only put it in option one of the set. Now, when we add an option 2 and enter into the option 2 edit mode, our option 1 disappears. So essentially, we've accomplished the same thing but in another but with another technique. Now comes the time to define a second option for that set for the auditorium option set. We've already added the option in the option dialog and we've clicked option 2 and selected Edit. Now again we have a blank slate in which to design in which to design and model something different. and we can easily toggle between the options in the main model from this drop-down menu. Remember that the main model by default displays the primary option so be mindful of which option you have set as the primary option as this will be the one that affects as this will be the one that by default appears in your model views unless otherwise specified.